Welcome, Geminis. Happy Valentine's to all you Geminis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Geminis. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, I love you, Gemini, so much. All right, so Gemini, this is the month of February, February 2021. These are timeless reading. Whenever you want to come back and look at these reading, it is time for you to do that. The message is here for you. Remember always to check out the reading every week with the re weekly readings because that's how you recognize who and what you're dealing with. I love this month for you because some sort of a secrets over a fire sign woman is going to be coming out. They're going to be recognizing some sort of a deceptive play of a fire sign woman. Whoever this woman is, is it your mother? And Aries Lee or Sagittarius person, they're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of of this person and I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen a lot of people have been saying why you have to talk about deceptiveness because a lot of people does read and, and they only wants to show the nicest part or not recognizing the truth and the life of what is transpiring so they're recognizing now that a fire sign woman whoever this fire sign woman is have a lot of secrets this woman is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius they're not showing up who this woman is and what this woman has a um whether she's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so this is wonderful because what is happening here and what people are recognizing is that this woman did not speak the truth. Whoever this woman is, this woman is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, didn't speak the truth. And they're recognizing um, that this woman is a very dishonest person. Whoever this woman is, I hope it's not your mom. Um, but uh, whoever this woman is has not to, is has is not a family member. They're recognizing that this person could be at work or an extended family member or a friend or the neighbors or you name it. Just these people or random people that you have to deal with. Okay, so um, some so, so you know, Gemini expect that an Aries Lee or Sagittarius woman is not speaking the truth. This woman had a lot of secrets. People are now recognizing it. All right. So let's go into reading. A lot of you need to take some rest. A lot of you need to take some rest. Um, whatever is transpiring, you need to take some rest. A lot of you are going in within and is thinking about things. A lot of you are um, recognizing that there was some sort of a, a situation with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man and a Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman. So a lot of you are going in and started to thinking about these people. Who are these people? Are they your parents or are they people that have not spoken the truth? Are they people that have not decided to tell you something? And it's as if you recognize that these people were playing some sort of a game and some sort of a dishonest game. So I guess you, um, Aquarian, uh, Gemini, sorry, um, could be dealing also with an, um, some sort of a situation where you're going to be recognizing that people had uh, and worked together against you, okay? So a lot of you are going to be finding out that you have enemies, okay? In the second week, you're going to be finding out, or the first week, you're going to be finding out that you had some sort of an enemy at the work floor. And um, th this could be two supervisor or two boss. They were trying to play some sort of a game. People are going to be recognizing because I see information is going to be coming out that led to recognize these people and what these people were doing. Then we see the energy of the five of pentacles. Our chip is going to be over for you, Geminis. Um, you, Geminis, are going to be recognizing that people were creating some sort of an issue in order for you, Geminis, not to recognize what was happening. So they were putting up some sort of a smoke screen. For you, Geminis, whatever that was transpiring, a lot of people were creating some sort of a smoke screen around you, Geminis, and you, Geminis, are going to be recognizing that. And it's going to be understanding that uh, um, people were not uh, saying what they mean, okay? Some sort of a un, um, dishonest play that was at hand, and you're going to be recognizing that, um, you know, people was um, uh, full of hair, and a lot of you Geminis are going to be going in within and thinking about these two people. And here is Leo, a Sagittarius woman. This woman, they're going to be finding out some sort of information about this woman and this man that they created. They, both of them was creating some sort of an illusionary situation um, so that some of you 
they didn't recognize what was going on. Um, you know, they were plotting. They had plotted some sort of an illusion, but it's going to be blowing up in their face. There is uh, the energy of the tower. So this month is going to be a very, very good month for you, um, Geminis. This is wonderful. Um, you know, this is a positive, positive, wonderful situation. And people are going to be recognizing the plot that they had created. So let's look at this, ladies and gentlemen, and get in your reading. The first week you're dealing with the energy of the devil. And the devil is two people. It is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman and a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man. People are recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of these two people. People are now recognizing that these two people have created some sort of a criminal offense. The devil, that means these people are liars and thieves. This is a businessman. This man could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This woman is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. They could be your boss. They could be two people in business that has created some sort of a criminal offense. Secrecy, secrecy, the devil. That means that people are lying and deceiving. And that is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius woman, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man. And they have been working together. And I see now an investigation is going is uh, is and has been taking place um against these two people and people are now recognizing what these two people have done okay the um so this is going to be very very it's going to be a really powerful month for you um gemini's because you're going to be recognizing who these two people are and how they have collaborated in some sort of a fraud to create some sort of a fraud and you Geminis are going to be recognizing what these two people have done and it's going to be standing your ground um at what these two people have done so if you notice the energy of the devil the energy of the devil is sh you're going within and you are looking at the work of these two people because here it is so you recognize they could be your boss they could be um, your business partner, they could be your parents, they could be a uncle and a haunt, very deceptive people. They are driven by the energy of the devil. Be aware of these two people because I see you young Gemini between the age of 18 and 45 is recognizing the lies. It could be your father and your stepmother. It could be your adopted parents, whatever is transpiring. You Geminis are cutting through the BS of these two people and recognizing the criminal offense that these people have done and recognizing who these people are and what they have created. So here you are, the energy of the devil, and you're recognizing that there is some sort of a devastating failure. There is information, secrets that was kept, and now you're recognizing, and this is a situation that could be happening with work or some sort of a business associated association, and now you're recognizing and realizing the truth about what was happening and how this woman and this man and they're recognizing the secret of this woman and recognizing this woman and this man what they have done and what they have created so i mean a lot of you gemini at the workplace who is dealing with an aries v or a sagittarius woman and a taurus virgo or a capricorn is going to be recognizing that they have been running some sort of a scam behind the scene at the workplace and you're going to be finding it out because you're going to be going in with them and looking back at these people and recognizing Wow. So you have some sort of a um, dishonest energy in the first week of February. In the second week of February, what we recognize is the energy of the sun, the energy of the sun. Um, light has been, um, um, light came out, information came out about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man, that this man has done some sort of, a, uh, run some sort of a on, you know, dishonest play and light is now shedding. And they're going to be recognizing that this man have and this man is going to be old off to jail. Whether this man is this man is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, is going to be all off to jail. Because I see um this energy where you're going to be recognizing and showing up and speaking out, because you're using the sword of truth. So you women are going to be recognizing what this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man have done, and you use the sword of truth to speak. Speak up. Is this your son, father? Is this your, your child's mother or your child's father? You're going to be using the sword of truth. Whatever this man have done, this man is looking at some serious jail time. 
serious jail time because they recognize some sort of a dishonest play that this man have done. And I see you ladies are going to be using the sword of truth to say, hey, this man, um, whether it's your boss, whether it's your father, whether it's your stepfather, whoever this man is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn man, you women are going to be using the sword of truth on this man and showing up this man for the undesirable play that this man have done. We're looking at the second week where by going with it, a lot of you are going to be recognizing something about a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. And I know and they're recognizing and seeing the truth that uh, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn was sent on your way um, and was sent to you by an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman. They're now recognizing that this Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman in another country, another place, uh, was the one who sent this lady at you, okay? Or send this person at you. This person is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, okay? So it doesn't have to be... Um, this is a situation where you're, you Geminis are recognizing, hey, this person um, reconnect with me or have connected with me. And how did this person know me? And how did this person have my information in order to connect with me? And you're going to be tracing it back to an Aries Lee or Sagittarius woman. Whoever this woman is, this woman has a lot of secret. This is a nasty, nasty, deceptive person. Um, and you're going to be recognizing that this lady has created some sort of a situation where she sends some sort of an information to a Taurus, um, um, send a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person to you guys. And they're recognizing that this young person is connected with this fire sign person. So these two older people use a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person to gather some sort of an information. And I see now people are recognizing the false play that has been transpiring. So be aware of this, ladies and gentlemen. You're you're going to be successful over this anyway. Um, so this is good. So the second week is going to be a very, very successful week for you, Gemini. As we look at the third week, another fire energy, you're powering up. You're powering up. This month is just so powerful. And the third week, you have the energy of the tower and you're bringing down and giving up and letting out some sort of an information that people were not aware of. And you, Geminis, is like, listen, people, I see your play. I know that you were not um, honest. I see your play, this devil energy where secrets was kept, um, where a fire sign woman and Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man had a lot of secrets they plan and skim and plan and skim and you um uh Gemini between the ages of 18 and 45 is coming down and is blowing up um this horrible person a Libran a Libran a tower moment is coming down on a Libran they recognize who a Libran is they recognize what a Libran has done some sort of a legal situation, some sort of an unfair game that was been played. A tower moment is coming down and they recognize, some of you are going to be recognizing that the Libran who comes in as a friend is not really a friend. This Libran was placed by you to um, uh, intercept and get some sort of a information. And I see you recognize this in the third week and you're blowing up a Libran and you're saying, hey, Get away from me because I know you're connected to these people. So I'm seeing that this Libran could be a cousin or a relative or that sort of a thing. And I see this child or this Libran is playing two face, two side. Okay. So you have to keep this Libran at bay because you recognize that this Libran have a lot of secrets, have not been speaking the truth, and have been communicating with your enemies and have been working. So it could be that you are living with your family members and aunt or uncle and the aunt and uncle have used your inheritance and uh, um, um use it for their family and you're recognizing the horrible play that is transpiring and then the 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 kid of this aunt or uncle is always coming to find out if you know or know what is going on and you're like you know listen to me i'm sick and tired of you people you're bullshit okay whatever is transpiring and you are giving it to the celebrant you are blazing the celebrant you're reading the celebrant stars um psalms um Gemini, you're really reading the celebrant psalms and said now back the f away because you have not been a very good friend or you have not been 
a, a, a family member, you are two faced, two sided, and you're blazing this Libran. And I see truths is coming out. Wow. So a lot of you who have a Libran friend, you're going to be recognizing that this Libran friend have two faced. This Libran friend is a two faced person. And this liberal person have two faces and have created a whole lot of issue. And you're going to be recognizing, hey, back away. I got to back away from this person. This liberal is not good. This liberal is not being honest, okay? It could be a lawsuit that some of you are dealing with and you recognize what these two people have done. And you blaze up. You give information that is hitting on target and people are recognizing how dishonest, so these people have been and you are really taking these people down and you are showing up and you're recognizing these people are not friends who are these people these people are not friends these people come in as friends they're no friends so i see here um the energy of the five of pentacles um the hardship that you were going through at the workplace this is going to be over some of you who were looking for work was out of work for some time this is going to be resolving this week the blockages that was placed uh, to block you from your work and your business is going to be lifted up people are going to be recognizing who you are and um people are now going to be uh, working together in order to help you Gemini's to recover and rebalance out some sort of a situation so if you're looking for work the third week is when the blockages is going to be um, lifting up. And I see whoever was trying to block your business, your work, and that sort of a thing, they're going to be recognizing. And they're going to be tearing down and removing whatever and whoever had placed some sort of a hardship and blocks for you guys. Oh, uh, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful. A lot of you are going to be recognizing um, if you have a stepfather or a boss that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, this man have a lot of secret and this man had a whole lot of secret with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. They're recognizing what they have done. Wow. Okay, so let's look at the fourth week. Fourth week is going to be another good week. Second week and the fourth week. A lot of you air sign people are getting the second week and the fourth week um, really coming up because they're recognizing the hangman energy. Go back and look at um, uh, the general energies. You had the hangman. Um, you had debt transition. You had here the energy of the light has been shed with the with the energy of the tower. The light has been shed um, as some sort of a horrible play that was transpiring. People are going to be all off the jail and it has to do with the stories where Greg Capricorn man, they recognize what he has done. So in the fourth week, wonderful week, another beautiful week, whatever you decide to do, use the sword of truth, communicate very with, clearly with friends, let friends know where they stand. The energy of the star comes in in the fourth week. And what is transpiring is that the energy of the star is recognizing that a uh, Capricorn man, this is a, a, not a Capricorn man, a Taurus man, they're recognizing the energy with a Taurus man and a younger a Taurus man and a Virgo man, they're recognizing that a Taurus man and a Virgo man was placed in your life to intercept and create chaos around you by a woman. This woman is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, and they're now recognizing who this woman is. This woman um, have sent this uh, Taurus man and this Virgo man in your life. The Virgo man is the one um, that collect your data and information. The Taurus man is uh, the lawyer or the legalities person. This is coming up as a lawyer and they're recognizing exactly who these people are and how they came in your life and how they created some sort of a um, on a, uh, this honest play. And now people are recognizing. So they recognize. So a lot of you, an old Taurus man is going to go to jail. This old Taurus man and his friends are going to go to jail because they recognize that this old Taurus man has done some sort of a criminal offense. Um, then they are going to be coming after a Virgo person, whoever this Virgo person is. It could be at your workplace or this Virgo person. A lot of you, Gemini, are going to be recognizing that a Virgo person between the age of 18 and 45 had worked against you guys. And you're going to be recognizing it could be someone at the workplace. But whoever this Virgo person is has worked against you, Geminis, and they're going to be recognizing this. So be aware of 
So the star is going to be showing up some sort of unconventional that uh, friends are not really nice, especially a Libran. You got to stay from this person, whether um, um, is in some sort of a friendship with a Libran, stay away from this person. This person is not really nice. I see a lot of you are using this month and using the sword of truth to take down people and let people know, especially at the workplace and people, you're going to be finding out that friends at work against some of you and you're going to be using the sword of truth to say, hey, hold on, back up, back up. I know what you did. So wow, what a wonderful, wonderful month. Remember, your best weeks is going to be the second week and the fourth week. Your best week is going to be the second week and the fourth week. People are now recognizing um, what people have been doing. So a lot of you are going to be really um, having issues with a Virgo a person between the age of 18 and 45. So people between the ages of 18 and let's say 18 and 50, you're going to be having some sort of a problem with a Virgo person and you're going to be using the sword of truth to let this Virgo person know, hey, it's good, it's fine. I know exactly what you have done now, back away. All right. And it's just good to let people recognize that, hey, you're no longer in the dark. I recognize what you have done. Forgiveness is the key. I'm, I'm letting go of this situation. Now, let it go and move away from me. Let it go and move away from me. Okay. Um, then we have the King of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, uh, if this man is going to end up going into jail. You're going to be winning over this man. You're going to be recognizing. I see this King of Pentacles is now recognizing that jail time and that people that he had collaborated with is going to land him into jail. And now he's going to be recognizing how far he has gone. And this was too far. Okay. So this is going to be, um, very, very good for you guys. So, we are looking, you're going to be um, successfully overcoming a Taurus man for some of you. And um, th th whoever this man is, uh, this man is a criminal. This man is just a plain white um, collar criminal. And a whole lot of you, this man is, it could, it's just coming up as a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And this man is really a criminal. A lot of you who have a uh, family member, sister or brother that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, I see that you're going to be recognizing what was happening. So you're going to be successful over a Taurus. Um, whoever this Taurus man is, you're going to be very successful because information came out that this Taurus man had collaborated with an Aries Leo uh, Sagittarian woman and has created some sort of a criminal offense. And I see a tower moment is coming because the people are now recognizing the secrets that these people have and a tower moment is coming in. So, you know, Gemini's by going in, by just going in what transpired, you recognize all the people around you and what they were doing. And I see that you, Gemini's, is bringing it down. I love this. This is the most beautiful deck. And I love this tower energy. This tower energy is blazing everything in, slide, in sight. And um, I, I see you are going to be standing your grounds and is going to be working out and resolving a whole lot of issue that these people had created because now they're putting the puzzle together and recognizing who these people are and is resolving a situation. So Gemini, kudos to you. I love you, Geminis. I love the way you're using the, um, this tower energy because you brought light in a situation and use this tower energy to take down some undesirable people around you. All right, let's go with them. So the Four of Swords is about you in thoughts, thinking, and you decided, whoa, all right, so I see my friends now. I recognize who they are, and I see a lot of you are going to be ending some friendships, ending some friendships, and you're going to be working to resolve some sort of a situation with a Virgo, whether it's your sister or brother, whoever this Virgo is. And you're going to be very successful, extremely successful. And your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. And you use your sword of truth in order to take down a Taurus man and his criminal network together with a Virgo. Bam, bam, bam. All righty, Virgos. All right. So let's look and see what other messages is here. What is going on? You are definitely going to be, whoever you Geminis are that is dealing with a 
a Virgo or a Taurus, an old Taurus man or a, a young Virgo, I see you're taking down whatever is going on with these people. So that is beautiful. All right, Virgos, uh, Geminis, um, whatever is going on with the Virgos, you guys are using the sword of truth to show up a Virgo and stand in your ground and you're going to be winning, winning big. So there is a, uh, there is a, a lot of you are dealing with a cancer and a scorpion and a cancer and a scorpion is going to be back in um, you Gemini's in order to help you take down a Virgo who have done some injustice. So dating is here. So it is a month. If you can go out, I see a lot of you are dating. Um, this is good. So that is the energy of love for you in this month. A lot of you are going to be dating. This is wonderful. This is the month of love. Go out there, experience it, understand it, and keep it going, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be powerful. Open. So success is here for you, Geminis, whatever is happening in Transparent. You have... Um, Number seven, and what I'm recognizing in this month is that not a lot of energies because the tower, the tower is, a, um, the tower is sixteen, which is seventeen, um, which is seven. Um, not a lot of number energies is coming out, so just roll with the punches. All right, so number seven, another number seven. You're on the right part. Be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your own divine guidance. And this is what I say to people, listen to your own divine guidance. You can never go wrong. You have balanced out so many difficult priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praises added for you, Geminis. But don't be shy. Allow other people to shower you with gratitude and uh, um, you deserve this. So wonderful, wonderful energies. I really do love you, Geminis. I'm wishing you a very wonderful Valentine. And if you do not have a Valentine or you do not have a relationship, send yourself some flowers. Nothing is wrong. Send yourself some flowers and enjoy. I do love you. Please thumbs up, share these videos. I am saying namaste. Until next time.